Yeah, and the decision that was handed down, um, we've sort of bullet pointed in here. Um, there's a lot to the 185 pages, uh, but you know, try to put it in one PowerPoint slide. Um, you know, the, the court held that the authorization for the use of military force does not do what the executive branch has been arguing it does. It does not expand the president's powers um, uh, to conduct military commissions in some way that are kind of untethered. I mean, the, the Bush administration, of course, has been uh, invoking the AUMF not only for its authority with respect to detainee policy, but they've invoked that, that document, the AUMF, with respect to the NSA, you know, electronic surveillance, wiretap, uh, um, email intercept program as well. Um, the court's opinion uh, says, no, the a AUMF isn't the blank check that you think it is. Um, the, the limits on military commissions that were set out by, the, by sections 821 and 836 of the UCMJ, those are the ones that Congress has imposed on your authority to set up the, the, the military commissions, and those are the ones we're going to enforce. 821 is a jurisdictional statute. You can only try offenses against the laws of war, and you can only use military commissions that comply with the laws of war. 836 is the procedural statute that Charles talked about. Your procedures in a military commission cannot be contrary to or inconsistent with the Uniform Code of Military Justice, and they are in, in, the, in the military commission. 836 was, in, in a sense, it was really, a, I think, a, a question of first impression. Is that fair to say, Charles? Yeah, I mean, it's never been adjudicated by a federal court what it meant in the context of a commission. Um, Charles, you know, was the guy who, who developed that argument and briefed that argument and won on that argument in front of the, the Supreme Court that 836 was violated, the procedures set out for this particular trial uh, are inadequate, they are contrary to and inconsistent with the Uniform Code of Military Justice, so these commissions represent a statutory violation of the UCMJ. Um, there needs to be, you know, uniformity in the kinds of military tribunals that are set up. The regular one is the court-martial, and if you're going to set up an ad hoc one that varies from it, that is not uniform with it, then there needs to be some kind of showing of, of, you know, of, of the need for that, and there had been no such showing in this case. 